I had an ex-worker called Lucy Brown. She was offered £5,000 by Andrew Gilligan. Andrew Gilligan is a top journalist in the UK. Yeah, He works in the top newspapers and he works alongside a group called Hope Not Hate. He, he's worked with them on or coordinated with them on different things. So Hope Not Hate have been against me for years. I've done a documentary exposing who they are and how they operate. They, this organisation come in, they're like an NGO. Yeah, there's lots, There's one in each country. There's an organisation like this in each country. Their job is to attack anyone who speaks out. You go against the status quo, you go against immigration, you go against trans transgenderism, you go against... I realise it's not just because I used to speak against open borders. Whatever section you go against, they come after you. They find out where you work, they go after your family, they contact your family's work, they try and make them lose jobs. Their job is to destroy your life. That's their job. Yeah. So we think we've got freedom of speech, but you've got these NGOs. So you don't need the police to be coming after you because these groups come after you. So hope not hate. Their 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 job is constantly to attack me. They what they do is they create. So anyone you fall out with, yeah. If I anyone who I sack in my job, they get into them, and then they pay everyone. They got everyone because they've got all this. George they're funded by George Soros. They got all this money coming in. So they fund someone to say something. They don't care if it's the truth. <coughs> they fund them. This person and then they have all the media lined up ready. This person will make accusations against me, and then the media will pump it around the world. Damage is done. Now Lucy Brown was offered £5,000 by Andrew Gilligan to paint me as a Harvey Weinstein figure. That's what they wanted. They, when, I, when I, she was sacked from working with me, we had a big, big fallout, yeah? They went to her and tried to get her, coerce her, because she was vulnerable at that time. Yeah, she was having a bad time in life and they offered her £5,000. Now she could have done that. She didn't, yeah? But she come to me and she'd been offered £5,000. So she could have painted me as a Harvey Weinstein sexual dominant boss figure. That's what they wanted her to do. There was no truth in that, but that's what they wanted her to do. At the same time, they wanted her to do that in step panorama. Panorama, this is where it all gets it. Panorama are the propaganda machine of the British state. Yeah, They will, if you go against the British state, they're going to destroy you in their investigative journalism. I, that's when my, my documentary I've done called Panodrama, where I got, when, when Panorama approached Lucy Brown, I got her to wear a secret camera to find out what they were saying. Lucy Brown had a recorded conversation of me and her arguing. It was to do with Mohammed Hijab and Ali Dawa, two Muslim men who uh, attended a free speech rally in London and there was a fallout over it between all of us, yeah? Nothing sexual, okay? She says, I've got this fallout. And he, John, John Sweeney, who's now sacked from Panorama, right? he lost his job over all this, he says, how angry does he get? She goes, he gets angry. She says, okay, okay. He's like, okay, okay. And she says, but I get angry as well. He goes, yeah, don't worry, we can clip that out, yeah? We can clip that out. And, he, and then he says, right, we can make this into a sexual thing against Tommy Robinson. It's like, what? So when I see all this about Andrew Tate, and, I, and a lot of my followers are against Andrew Tate, yeah? A lot of my followers are A, against his conversion, B, against his morality in the way he earned, earned his money. They're against um, the, they, they believe in some of them, all of the hype and allegations. So this is what's going on. I know what the media have done to me. So when I'm seeing what's going on with him, I'm saying, no, you've got to question everything. Because I was nearly Harvey Weinstein, yeah? I was nearly, uh, they were nearly turning an innocent argument with me and an ex-employee into a sexual thing that was going to be pumped on Panorama. So when I see Vice Media, who recently come out and they've released uh, voice recordings of, uh, apparently of Andrew Tate, I question everything. They've released voice recordings of Andrew Tate, which sound absolutely horrific. Now, what they don't tell you, this there was a rape allegation against Andrew Tate in 2015 from the girls who they've got these voice recordings of. What they don't tell you, what Vice Media didn't tell anyone, is that the reason that didn't go to trial was because the two girls who were making the allegations, when you make a sexual allegation, we've seen it with this Ellie Williams case up in Barrow, your phone is taken off you yeah, by the police. The police found that these two girls were conspiring to extort Andrew Tate for money. Yeah? So when he, he was, he, he was a, a boss of 75 women who were paid to take their clothes off on TV, yeah? I don't know what politics or dramas he has being that boss, but these two girls, which the media haven't told anyone, were conspiring, which is why no charges were brought. When you listen to those voice notes, it's like, if the voice notes are as you say, yeah, vice media, then the CPS would have prosecuted Andrew Tate. One million percent. Yeah. So I just question everything. And Andrew Tate is blown up. He converted to Islam. I strongly oppose to that, strongly disagree with it. I was actually scheduled to have a podcast with him so we could sit down and discuss everything. Um, but, and you can question his morality and where he's made his money. You can question all those things, but you should also question the media and the level of power that is lodged against him at the minute. I don't think he's going to be seen again.